morning you guys i'm just getting ready for the gym welcome to a little health wellness summer vlog it's just so much easier to do things in the summer and it just makes me overall a lot more motivated than in the winter because in the winter you just want to stay inside 24 7 it's not like the best vibe in the world so i feel like in the summer i just naturally excel at not going on my phone being outside, exercising, because there's just so much more to do, like getting off screens in general. Anyways, yeah, it's a good time. So yeah, it is 5.30 right now and just packing my gym bag. And then we are out of the house. I've been honestly loving doing Pilates videos at the gym after doing like my 12.3.30 treadmill walk. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing today at the gym in between my other days, just because I love a good switch up. And whenever I do the Pilates videos, even though they're like 30 minutes or 20 minutes, it's still like a burner. Like I love them so much. Like they're really good. Don't underestimate Mount Pilates because they're really good. I will link the channel that I use down below because I've been literally using all her of her videos. They're free on YouTube. So I would go check them out for sure. But yeah, I have been loving doing little videos just because it switches it up and like keeps my body guessing. Not so much like the same thing every single week, especially if I like put on new videos. Let's go to the gym. I just keep rambling. You look so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just a week ago, crew at my house, and we party every weekend. So on the radio, that's my favorite song. Make me bounce around like I don't know, like I won't be here long. Now the thrill is gone. Got no patience, cause I'm not a doctor. But why is you lying? Girl, why you move faster? Yeah, me casa su casa. Got it stripped like Gaza. Got so high on volcanoes. Now the flow is so lava. Yeah, we spit that saliva. iPhone got message from Viber. Either the head is so hydra or we let bygones be bygones. My God, you pay for your friends. I'll take that as a compliment. Got a house full of homies. Why I feel so the opposite. Incompetent ain't the half of it. Saturdays with young lavishes. That is shit is bad as it. Beans they took from the cabinet. I'm just about to leave the house. Here is my little outfit because it's gloomy today. I got these like really cute blue flowy pants from Brandy. I'm just wearing my Sambas and they're so comfortable. I love the color and they're just like the best pants ever. And then I'm wearing my fave camo hoodie from Abercrombie again. But this is like the perfect fit for today because it's so gloomy and cold. Hopefully I, I won't get too warm, but I'm gonna be in the grocery store, so it should be fine. But anyways, just wanted to show you guys before I leave. I just got to the grocery store and I'm not gonna do like an entire grocery shop right now because I'm just mainly here because we are having Joel's parents over for dinner tonight and right now his mom can only have liquids. So I'm gonna make them tomato soup. I know this is like so fall. I used to make so much soup in the winter and fall time. And then once summer hit, I stopped making the soups because I feel like it's such like a fall slash winter thing. But this is the one exception and I'm actually really excited for it because I haven't had like tomato soup or just like soup in general in so long. So I'm really excited to make it and it's a super easy recipe. So show you guys how i do it i already showed it in a vlog like a long time ago in the winter i'm pretty sure but i'm gonna show you guys again um when i make it tonight because i'm really excited super healthy and simple recipe to make like anybody can make it and so that's the plan for tonight i also am planning on making grilled cheese with it obviously his mom's not going to be able to eat that but his dad is also coming and then we'll eat the grilled cheese so i feel like soup needs a little bit of a side like grilled cheese with tomato soup is like definitely one of my favorite things literally ever so i'm excited it'll put me maybe in the fall spirit a bit even though it's literally like almost mid-august it'll just prepare me for the fall um and i'm excited love myself a good tomato soup so just gonna run in to get a few ingredients for that and then i also need to pick up a couple things like some milk and some random stuff that we are running out of and then maybe i'll do another grocery shop later this week i'm not sure if we're gonna need it but i'm gonna try to get as much essentials as i can right now but joel needs the car so i actually only have 20 minutes in there and then i have to go back home because joel has a haircut so i can't spend too long in there and I'm already procrastinating time right now. So I should stop this, go in, get my grocery shopping done. Cause usually when I go in, I take a million years cause I'm like leisurely scrolling. I love looking for new things, but today we're more on a time crunch. So let's do this quickly, go in, get what we need, go through the aisles, check out. And then, yeah, I literally have exactly 20 minutes. So let's stop talking, let's stop yapping and let's go in. Okay 
Okay guys, I just got home. I changed into this little tank from Brandy. And then I'm still wearing these blue flowy pants. They're a little bit long on me. I kind of have to like lift them when I walk outside. <sighs> That's like the struggle. I'm five foot three, if you guys didn't know. And whenever I buy pants, they're always like a little bit too big. But like I don't want to hem them because it's just so much work. I feel like pants are made to fit like five, 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 six. Anyways, that's kind of irrelevant. I was kind of rushing the grocery store because I, like I said, I had like literally 20 minutes to like get in and get out. And I hate rushing. Like I like literally hate rushing. And so I was like just jumping around and I really hope that I got everything I needed. Crossing my fingers. But if not, then once Joel gets home, I can always go back out. So it's not like the biggest deal in the world. But I just really hope that I remember to get everything because that would make me so happy but anyways so yeah now i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a grocery haul and then i'm gonna put everything away and then i've got some computer work to do and then i'm gonna start on dinner a bit later obviously i really want to get like more cute loungewear sets like i love these pants so much like, i literally love long flowy pants like this and just wearing it with like a cute little top that's like i can wear this out but it's still so comfortable for the house that is my ideal everyday wear you know what i mean but anyways that's the vibe you know come here oh my goodness oh you are so cute show the camera how cute you oh my god guys she looks like a little doll oh my goodness you see how cute you look you see how cute you look in the camera i think she actually sees how cute she looks she's like oh my god is that me is that me yes it is girl yes it is girlfriend that is you oh my god like do you guys have like cuteness aggression with your animals because i like look at her look at her i cannot handle you baby girl like you are just so cute i just want to kiss you 24 7. i literally can't i love you me. i love you let's do a little quick grocery haul for you guys first thing i got is actually this new brand of grass-fed milk it's called grass root and i've never heard about them so i'm like okay why not try it it's not homogenized milk but it is full milk excited to try this and it looked a bit yellower than the other milk so i'm guessing that's like really good because it's you know organic and grass-fed or whatever so we'll see how it is and it comes in this big big jug oh my gosh i realized i didn't even look at the expiry date august 28th okay that's actually not bad so i got milk i got two chicken broths for the soup today and then i got a bunch of these tomatoes i don't even know what they're called on the vine for the soup obviously and then i got a bunch of these tomatoes just i think these are the Ro roma tomatoes and i just got a variety so i could put both in the soup and i wasn't sure how much i would need so i just got like literally a whole bunch of them i want to make grilled cheeses with the tomato soup as i already said so i got this loaf of sourdough i'm not e eating gluten so i do have some gluten-free bread in the freezer for myself and then i got some bananas i just haven't had any in the house for a while and i accidentally got like a big big bunch but that's okay because i can always freeze them so it's not the biggest deal in the world got some basil for the soup and then this yogurt was on sale you guys know this is my favorite yogurt so i just thought i'd stock up because it's good until like december so and then i literally just got one head of garlic and then i got this organic cheddar for the grilled cheeses it comes in the slices so it's just super easy and then i got some creamy root beer zevias and guys i was so excited about this because they had a pack of poppies and i got the coke flavor because this is like my favorite one and i've been trying to find a pack of them i'm pretty sure this is yeah only a pack of four which is tiny it was like 14 dollars for this which is insane but i had to get it okay i had to because i love poppy and when i divided it with buying them individually versus buying the package this was cheaper yeah i don't know why they're so expensive like four for 14 dollars kind of crazy when you compare that price to like zevias whereas like this whole thing with like six of them was like seven dollars so it is really a lot but they're so good so poppy if you're watching this if you want to send me some i will drink them just to let you know so yeah that is the haul and now i'm just gonna kind of put everything away i was just reading your guys's comments um on my new video and i just want to say i read every single one of my comments like if you guys comment i read it and sometimes it's just a lot to reply to every single comment and i really really do try my best to reply to everyone and sometimes what i'll do is i'll go back on older videos and then like reply to everybody when i have like the time and the brain power but once your comment comes in like i see it you guys and no comment goes unnoticed and i just wanted to give like a bulk 
thank you so much for all your sweet words on all my videos and i appreciate your guys's nice comments and encouraging comments like so 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 much like some of them literally make me tear up and i hate just like hearting the comment without replying so that's why i don't just heart it because i want to reply but sometimes i'm just like busy and i can't so i just wanted to say that like i do read every single comment that goes on my youtube and even if it's like an older video i still see it so anyways yeah i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your sweet comments and even if i don't reply i see it and i appreciate it so much i honestly don't get when creators like don't engage with their audience at all like there's literally some huge creators that don't even engage with their audience and i think that that is just like so weird because the best part of this job is interacting with you guys and like talking to you guys and i love it so much and so the fact that people don't even like acknowledge their audience is so weird to me and odd but yeah i just wanted to say how grateful i am for every single one of you guys and even if you don't comment even if you're just like a silent watcher i just want to say thank you so much because every ounce of support truly means the world and i'm just very grateful but anyways i'm gonna get editing um this short form video so i can get it scheduled for tonight also i got a reply to a couple emails do some quit edits and yeah it's already 1 45 shit yeah the day's going by so fast so i'll talk to you guys in a bit too cold and too hot so that is why i am with my hoodie on with the hood on because it is a little bit chilly in here but i'm sure i'll warm up soon because we are going to be cooking i'm going to show you guys how i make this tomato soup it's really really easy so just follow along i don't really have like a strategic recipe i more so just do it so if you want the recipe just write it down as i go but first of all start with preheating your oven to 400 degrees Okay, so I got my tomatoes and then I'm taking out two pans and I'm going to line them with parchment paper because this recipe is basically just roasted in the oven and then you blend it. It's super easy. Basically, you just have to leave it in the oven. So now I'm literally just going to take my tomatoes, cut them in half. Like I'm just going to cut this little green part off. I don't know if you need to do that, but I just want to. And then I'm going to cut them in halves like this and place them face up onto the pan. And I'm just gonna do that to all the tomatoes right now. Okay, I think you guys can see, I got all my tomatoes cut and it depends like how much tomatoes you do is how much soup you're literally gonna get. So I'm doing a bunch because I always get nervous cooking for other people because I don't know how much to be because <laughs> I never know how much to make. And so I'd rather make more and have like leftovers that I can give them some home than not have enough. You know what I mean? So I'm going to make as much as I can. So I just filled two pans and now I just have a white onion that I'm going to peel and cut in half. Now with the white onion, I'm literally just peeling it off like layer by layer and I'm just going to literally place the onions on the pan sporadically with the tomatoes and it doesn't really matter what it looks like because this is all going to be blended like I said before so it really doesn't matter. Just get your onions on the pan. Now I'm going to take some garlic. I'm probably going to do half of the whole thing, the head. Basically do the same thing with the garlic except I'm going to peel it first. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to take each of the little cloves and spread them around the pan. Now I'm going to take um, a package of basil that I got earlier and spread some basil around. I'm just going to like take the leaves off and just put a bunch of basil, honestly. I don't hold back on the basil because it goes like such a good flavor note for tomato soup. It's so good. Basil smells so freaking good. I can't wait to grow my own one day. I feel like basil is so easy to grow. Okay, just put that whole package. I did put the stem though because we don't want that. Now that you have your tomatoes and everything on the pan, 
drizzle it with olive oil. This is essential. Now we're gonna spice her up. Ideally, you wanna underestimate the salt because you can always add the salt later on, like after it's cooked. So it's better to do less than too much. So I'm just putting some, just doing this with Celtic salt. And then now I'm gonna go in with oregano and sprinkle that everywhere. I'm also gonna put dill weed and I would put thyme, but I, don't have any so we're gonna have to do without but that's okay now they're spiced and i'm gonna place them in the oven now they're gonna roast at 400 for i would say about an hour i'm gonna check on them and see like halfway through but i'm gonna put the timer for an hour and just make sure you check on them because it depends how much you're making the size of your tomatoes etc for how long they're gonna roast for so yeah i'm gonna put them in and then just keep checking on them but this is what the final tray looks like. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close-up. This is what the beautiful tomatoes look like. Yeah, I didn't go overboard with the spices as I said because we can do that more later on. But gonna pop them in the oven and then I'll show you guys when they're out so you can see how cooked I make them. Just came out of the oven and this is what it should kind of look like. So I'm not gonna film this because it's super messy, but I'm gonna transfer this over to my blender and then add chicken broth and blend it up. After it's blended up, I'm gonna pour it into a pot on the stove. So pretty simple, I'm gonna do that right now. All right guys, soup is all blended. Here's how it turned out. And then you garnish it with cream and some basil. So that is literally it. And I did add some extra chicken broth and some more salt. So you just kind of have to taste it and go from there, but it tastes so good and I got it to the perfect texture. Yeah, just pour some cream over top with some basil. And I'm also gonna make grilled cheese. And that is the meal tonight. I'm so excited and this feels like fall. <laughs> hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and say a big thank you to Aquasana for sponsoring today's video. You guys know already that I prioritize good filtered water because it's so, so important for your health. Aquasana offers filtration systems that provide maximum contaminant reduction while leaving in the beneficial materials in the water. And what I love the most about them is their products are actually created with the environment in mind. All of their filter components are engineered for minimal waste, including its reusable outer filter filter casing and filter cartridges made of recyclable parts and compostable materials. So the machine I'm setting up right now is their clean water machine and this machine transforms ordinary tap water into clean extraordinary water at the push of a button for 300 gallons. Traditional pitcher fillers use gravity to slow trickle water over filter granules but Aquasana's clean water machine uses power for super fast and effective filtration delivering an 8 ounce glass of clean filtered water in literally only 8 seconds. So it's so quick and that is why you have to plug it in. One clean water machine filter lasts up to 7.5 times longer than the leading pitcher filter, which means fewer filter replacements and more great tasting water. Joel and I drink so much water in the house. If we were to buy filtered water as opposed to get like a water filter, we'd be spending so much money on plastic water bottles plastic jugs of water and that's just such a waste it's just so convenient so easy it's portable there's nothing like having filtered water on tap so i got two glasses of water in front of me this one is tap water and this one is the filtered water and i'm going to taste it and tell you guys the difference because like i could tell from a mile away already okay that's the tap water it tastes like chlorine it's thin it smells a little bit like chlorine let's taste this one you can literally tell like just from a little drop hitting my mouth because this water is so much more thick i don't even know how to describe it it just tastes so much better no chlorine taste it tastes filtered it just tastes really smooth that's exactly how to describe it it's so smooth if you guys are ready to start drinking cleaner healthier water all the above scan the qr code that's on the screen right now or you can also click the link in my description to get 55 percent off which is insane all systems 49 dollars and above and also free shipping so this is like an offer you can't refuse like that is so good so anyways go check out aquasana if you guys are interested and once again thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video Hey guys, so Joel's parents just left. We had such a good dinner with them and now it's 9.07. I don't really feel tired because you know when you have like stimulation and then it's like you're not really tired. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready for bed, wash my face and stuff and then I am going to just read in bed because no matter what book I'm reading, whenever I start reading in bed, I think I like made it so I just automatically get tired and 
go to sleep because I swear it works like a charm. That's why I've been trying to stay off my phone. 20 minutes to half an hour at least before I go to bed because it just makes such a difference in my sleep and going on TikTok and stuff, it's so addicting. I just want to keep scrolling. But when I'm breathing, it's just such a pleasant experience. I've been reading one book this whole summer because I've been just reading off and on. Like I'm not a consistent reader. Don't know if I ever will be a consistent reader, but that's okay. At least I incorporate some reading. Be new. Oh my god, she just jumped on the freaking they were learning to jump so high. She just jumped on the ledge. What are you doing up there? But something that I've been randomly thinking about and that I just kind of wanted to talk about is like there's no such thing as like being wrong in life. Like there's really no wrong path. No matter what path you choose, like you're gonna end up where you need to be and you're always where you need to be. So let's say if you're deciding to go to school or you're deciding to not go to school, let's say you ultimately decide to go to school, but then at the end of that journey, you realize that like, this is actually not what you want to do. You did that for a reason. Like you probably learned so many life lessons through doing that, that you needed to learn in order to get to the next part of your journey. So when you think about it like that, it's like, there is no wrong or right in life. It's kind of like saying there's no good or bad in life. Things just are the way that they are. And it's kind of true, like when you look at things through like a vibrational lens, nothing is necessarily good or bad because everything happens for the greater good. And whether or not you could see that reasoning now or not, there is a reason behind it. You are always where you need to be. Like I think that is just like a really good motto to have. It's like right now where you are, you're there for a reason. And there's no such thing as being in the wrong place in your life, you know? Often we look at things with such a harsh view on like, oh, this was a mistake, this was bad. I just feel like a lot of the times we put such pressure on ourselves to make the right decision, but it's really not as deep as you think it is because I just feel like nothing is really irreversible in life. And if you want to try something, but you're scared of failing, don't let that ever stop you because you can always go back to where you started. Your starting point, I feel like will always be there. If you never try, then you never know. Don't be afraid to like do things that you want to do in life because of failure. Failure isn't even real. Failure is just this thing that we've made up. But when you think about it, it's really not real. Like when you fail at something, maybe that just means that it's, it's steering you in a different direction. It's not actually a failure. It's actually a good thing. Like we look at that as a bad thing, but it's like, no, you tried it. You didn't like it. Moving on. And so I just feel like I've been heavy on that this past like few months where I would just like put so much pressure on myself to want to make the right decisions and want to be doing the right things in my life. But even at this point in my life, I don't have all my shit together. Like I still don't know what I'm going to or what I want to do for the rest of my life. Sure, I have some ideas, but it's like, I really don't know what is ahead and that's kind of exciting. But that's why it's just really important to go with the flow on things and not to stress, not to worry about the future because things will unfold the way that they're supposed to. And as long as you just know that and you know that everything happening in your life right now is for a reason, you just keep calm, collected, happy then you're good i feel like 20s too like in your 20s it's like a big time for self-discovery and i feel like i've already done so much self-discovery in my early 20s and i every year it's like a new thing just like getting to know myself better every step of the way and i have so many different ideas of what i could do and what i want to do but it's hard when i think about it like okay but how am i gonna mesh that into one it's like what's the right thing that i want to do because i feel like i have so many ideas of things that i could do and that i want to do but it's like realistically how do i do them all and i feel like that's what life is about it's like trying new things doing doing new things and see if it works or not and if you like it i guess that's been like a debate going on in my head but it's like there's no right or wrong answer you know you just have to do it and then see what happens next it's just living your life day by day and for the longest time like I wanted to be a YouTuber and, and I wanted this to be my full-time job and now that I'm here it's like okay what is next and now that is a mystery to me I gotta figure out the next steps obviously I'm, I'll still be doing this like I'm not saying I'm not doing it but it's like okay I reached this now what I'm at a point right now where I'm very satisfied with my social media like I'm very satisfied where I got myself on YouTube and this was like my ultimate goal and I'm not stressed one bit about the numbers on YouTube. And so thinking about it that way, it's like I could discover other areas of my life now while simultaneously doing this. Because sometimes it feels like all of this like superficial 
internet fame and stuff it doesn't fulfill me what i mean by that is like the number on the screen like that doesn't fulfill me seeing that i have x amount of subscribers doesn't really fulfill me anymore it's like i can have 10 million subscribers and that wouldn't fulfill me any more than what i'm doing now what fulfills me right now is like the actions that i'm doing and the videos that i put out not the numbers behind it now that i feel fulfilled through what i'm doing i feel like i don't need to even grow more obviously it's nice to grow more i'd love to grow more but that's not like on the top of my priority list anymore honestly so it's like now i'm just thinking like okay what's next if i don't need to focus all my attention on like growing my numbers because i feel like that does not fulfill me anymore like the, the numbers so i don't know this is really hard to explain but i feel like you guys could pick up what i'm putting down here if you feel a little bit lost in life right now as well then like we're 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 all there like nobody has a hundred percent of their shit figured out i feel like that's actually impossible everybody is learning something new every single day whether you realize it or not life is really a journey as cheesy as it sounds it's a journey and it's almost like a video game where it's like you just keep stepping up and up and going through different paths but I'll also I do really feel like that is a big part of just being in your 20s it's like figuring your shit out and that's what I'm doing so there's no rush to that I'm chill. I'm gonna get ready for bed and I will chat with you guys tomorrow. So good night and um, see you in the vlog tomorrow. <laughs>she just went to go visit my sister because i have not seen her new place like she's been living there for so long now and i have not seen it yet so i was like yeah i have to go see her and finally make a point of actually you know visiting her new place so i just went to go hang out with her for a bit now i have some errands to run i need to go to PetSmart to get the baby some food so i'm here right now and then i'm gonna go over to shoppers drug mart because i just need toothpaste flossers mouthwash just like random stuff like that that i need to restock while i'm already doing errands may as well go and then i need gas so gotta just do a little round of errands and then i'll be on my way home but it's actually such a nice day today the weather was calling for bad weather but it actually turned out to be 24 degrees and full sun as i'm looking at the weather right now but today was supposed to be shit so it's actually nice how it turned out to be so sunny but anyways that's the vibes for today just kind of chilling and running some errands I'm really glad I got to see her place though because I have been wanting to go see it and I have also haven't seen her in a while so that was a really nice visit um, and she gave me a reading because she is like a medium. Intuition already knows everything. It's kind of just nice to have reassurance. So the reading that she gave me was like exactly aligned with like how I'm feeling and like what's next which is really cool. Kind of gave me some direction and some confirmation which was really nice. So anyways, I'm gonna go in, get some pet food and then... After I'm done errands, be on the way home. It is hot, like today totally could have been a nice beach day or something, but I'll definitely go on a walk later to get some sun. I just love being outside in the summer and soaking up the sun since good weather doesn't last forever, you know? So let's go do our errands. I'm just wearing some jorts today and with a belt and a cute little top because it wasn't that hot when I left the house, but now it's actually really hot. So this is like the perfect outfit anyways. Yay. <laughs> Just got home a bit ago, Joel and I went on a walk and I just cleaned up and got changed. I'm in my little PJs now for the night and I'm just gonna like cook dinner 
in them and relax but i just wanted to show you guys a little quick haul so obviously i got cat food and litter that's boring but i got some sensodyne rapid relief this is my favorite toothpaste i got some flossers and then you guys know i live eat breathe this mouthwash it helps with gingivitis so i need that therabreath is just like the best mouth mouthwash brand because it's non-toxic and it has like good ingredients pretty natural and so would recommend it's in my amazon storefront but i just picked it up at the store today and i actually just got a pr package from graystone books and they sent along some really interesting books for the fall and i'm actually really really excited to read them this one is the key to creativity it's the science behind ideas and how daydreaming can change your world a kind life eat plants buy less slow down and save the planet seed to dust life nature in a country garden and then the essential guide intermittent fasting for women so i'm excited to kind of like dive in these books and see what they're about i'm excited to add some books to my fall collection because i definitely want to be reading a lot this fall so thank you so much to graystone books that is their at if you guys want to check them out i am just wrapping it up now for the night it is currently 8 40 and i'm actually really tired when you wake up early you get so tired like later or I mean earlier on in the night but I've also been like having kind of period cramps. I don't know. My period is so weird with my IUD. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's whatever. But I'm actually like, on my period right now. And I'm just like not feeling the greatest today. It's kind of been a bit shitty. Like I've just been sporadically getting cramps. It's not like nearly as bad as I used to get. But um, yeah, it's, it's just like hurting me. If you guys don't know, I got an IUD in because of my endometriosis. I'm not actually like diagnose the endometriosis because it's really hard for them to diagnose you but the doctor basically told me i have it so yeah it's like pick your poison because having the iud is like not the best thing in the world either but you gotta do what you gotta do and i was in so much pain and i'm really thankful that like i'm not suffering as much anymore because like back then before my iud my periods were so bad i would end up in the hospital it's actually horrible like what some women have to go through and it's like it's so overlooked by doctors and i was just so frustrated because like nobody was taking me seriously they would just prescribe painkillers that don't even work and it's like you're not helping me here like you're i could take advil if i wanted to and i do and it doesn't work so i could go on a rant about that but problem is solved for now i was just kind of actually writing my agenda and my planner because i just kind of want to get organized i feel like now since i'm back on my routine i need to start like planning things out again making to-do lists for myself every day actually like scheduling and like planning my videos just a bit in advance so i know what i'm filming and everything so i've just been kind of brainstorming ideas for that and i also have been reading just for the summer by abby jimenez and yes i'm going through it slow i know i got this book like literally in june and i'm like a a third way through don't judge okay i'm a leisurely reader like i read this at night for 20 minutes and then that's basically it maybe like a couple pages during the day but i actually really like it so far i will get through it and i will finish it by the end of august and then i would love to read a fall book but i've just been like super once i'm in a show like since i was obsessed with like love island since the new seasons were out i was like obsessed with watching that and i didn't want to read as much so it really just depends what out and if i'm like obsessed with the show and also when i'm obsessed with the show i don't really watch youtube that often either because i'm so obsessed with it that like i every time i have time to watch something i'll be watching the show so that's just how i roll also a new season of too hot to handles out i haven't started it yet but that will be a later watch i've been actually with joel watching love is blind uk because the new series just came out and we're only on episode like three or something but it's pretty good also emily in paris comes out soon too and i love that show i love it so much it's just like a light-hearted easy watch and i love it i eat it up and also really random show but i love queer eye the makeover show i always end up crying like i always end up tearing up basically every episode because it just gets to me and i just love that show it's almost like a comfort show to me i kind of like hit my head yesterday when i was putting something away and like the top of my forehead is a bit <laughs> bruised you can't see anything but it just like it hurts a bit <laughs> but anyways guys i'm gonna head to bed now and i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video because i'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow so stay tuned i'm back on the 
schedule i'm back on the filming schedule back on the grind so stay tuned for new videos and i'm so glad to be back it just feels so good to be in the real swing of things and i'm excited for the videos that i'm gonna make that are coming up and yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one and i just wanted to outro this before i forget because i always forget to outro my videos i love you guys so much and we'll see you in my next one